Good morning, guys. I'm back in my little red set active wear outfit again. I haven't worn it in a while. I saw it sitting in my closet and I was like, oh, I should bring that with me. But I didn't wake up till almost 11 a.m. I woke up about an hour ago, so it's almost 12. We didn't get to the hotel last night. I crawled into bed at 3 a.m. So we got to the hotel at like two something. Yeah, cause I just looked at my Uber receipt. I think we got here at like 2.30. We had to get an Uber because it was too late for the regular like shuttle service that picks us up to pick us up. Last night was so, yesterday was so long. It was a very long day guys. There was, because of weather, delays, there was lightning in Newark. So they had to close the tarmac. That airport was wild. It was absolute chaos because every single flight was delayed because of weather. I'm happy to be in Miami. <laughs> I'm happy we made it here because there were um, there was a moment when I thought our pilots were gonna time out because they had a really long day and they have certain legalities that they can only work like time frames that they can work within. I mean you don't want tired pilots. But anyway, I'm here now and I'm gonna go to a cafe that looks pretty good. I don't remember it's called like Pura or something. It might be like a Costa Rican themed cafe, but it looks really good. We'll check it out. And I need to walk there before the sky opens up again. I have about 15 minutes to get there before it starts pouring rain. But my view is pretty sick, huh? I really like this view. This morning though, when I woke up, I did Wim Hof breathing meditation and that was absolutely amazing and needed. I hadn't done Wim Hof in a, well no, I did it yesterday morning, but I, I hadn't been doing it for a while and I just picked it back up and it's, it's the absolute best. And I was finally able to hold my breath all the way through. Whenever I take breaths or whenever I take breaks, I like lose my endurance of holding my breath but it always comes back after like three days. I ended up taking my uh, Richer Poor, I think that's the name of this company, t-shirt, and tucking it in to the tank top. I wanted just a little bit extra coverage today because it is raining and I know I'm gonna walk into like AC places and it's gonna be freezing in there. Like it always is when it rains in Florida. But yeah, and then just my hokas. <laughs> Tropical. It just rained and there's just, Miami's such a lush place in general, but oh my God, the smell, I miss the smell so much of when it rains in a tropical climate. Oh my God, it just, it's like a sweet earthy smell. I don't know how to describe it, but it just smells so good. And it's making me miss living in Florida so much. It's making me miss living in South Florida specifically. I'm back from my walk and I'm back from Whole Foods and Sephora. So I'm gonna share what I got really quickly. Also the lighting in here is so good. I love Miami. Walking around today, I know I say this like almost every time I'm here and a lot of you guys have said like Vera, you need to just move to Miami. <laughs> um, I just, I love this place so much and I feel like I could live my best lifestyle here. When I'm here, I feel like eating healthy. I feel like eating fresh, fruits and vegetables and fish and I feel like being outside and it's easy for me to like work up a healthy sweat and just feel like I'm in my body here. And I also just love the culture. I love the way people eat and drink here, this laid back but exciting vibe. I just love Miami. Maybe I'll move here when my lease is up. I've got three places that are on my mind. San Diego, Austin, or Miami. Those three to choose from. A lot can happen between now and February. My lease is up in February, so we'll see what happens. But first, I'm gonna go through the cold stuff because that needs to go in the fridge. First things first, I got a Harmless Harvest coconut water. I got super thirsty on my walk. I couldn't even finish the coffee that I got. And I kind of knew when I went in there, like I need to get a matcha. But the girl was like, do you want, she like really sold me on the coffee. It's a Venezuelan restaurant and it's called Pure, 
pure roast. It was really good. The coffee is strong. Either the coffee's strong or I've just desensitized because it's been over a week since I've had coffee. So I felt it like immediately as I was drinking it. I was only able to drink about half and then I had to throw it away. I got these two little shots, the, this ginger honey shot, which I'm gonna take now. And I got this wheatgrass shot, which I'm also going to take now. You know what, let me just throw them back. I haven't taken a wheatgrass shot in so long. I got sick once from taking a wheatgrass shot. So I've veered away from it, but I'm, I'm gonna try it again. Probably not the best idea to try this before I have to work, but I think I'll be okay. And now for a ginger shot. Maybe the ginger shot following the wheatgrass shot will also help prevent me from feeling icky. The last time I took one was probably like 10, literally 10 years ago. And I got immediately nauseous after I took it. Mm, this one's so good. It's lemon, ginger, and honey. And then the next thing I got, this is for like my lunch and my dinner today. A bag of arugula, a little box of broccoli sprouts, and some blackened salmon. And I'm just gonna make my own little makeshift salad. I bought a new dressing to try out. I absolutely love this brand. I still have their honey mustard one that I got here maybe like a month ago or so. It's really good. This one is a basil vinaigrette by Glasser, Glacer Glasser Organic Farms, the same place I like to buy stuff from a lot here in Miami. All the ingredients are organic. It looks super good. So that'll be good with the salmon and the greens. And then from the same people, the same company, I got their raw cacao powder. So they have a cacao farm here. So this is gonna be super, super this is gonna be super local, super fresh cacao powder because I'm running low at home and I really wanted to try this one. It's super good quality. So excited about that. And then I got some electrolyte packets because I ran out of elements until my next ooh, package comes in. This is just the Ultima lemon one. I really like it. I, it was five for $4. So I bought that and I'm just going to keep that in my lunch bag. I was super dehydrated yesterday. Even though I kept drinking water, I just felt so freaking dehydrated. They were fully stocked on chlorophyll, thank goodness. So I've been out of mine and I haven't been able to find a new one, so I bought that. And then I got some lemon balm to go with, I have the valerian tincture, I talked about that in a different vlog, but the lemon balm is calming, so it's really good for stress and nervousness, anxiousness. This is good for flying. <laughs> um, either before or after work when you need to just calm down, zen out, and feel relaxed before entering the craziness of travel right now. And then I know I said I had too much caffeine today, but I really wanted to try this. One good thing it has is L-theanine. L-theanine is really good for focus. It's really good for like stabilizing yourself, stabilizing your nervous system, your mood. It has electrolytes and caffeine, and it's a cucumber mint flavor. I keep eyeing this company every time I'm in Whole Foods. It's called Ardor. So I'm gonna drink this while I'm editing my video, which I'm gonna start doing soon. And then I got the grain-free cookies. This time I got Mexican chocolate. They didn't have the wedding ones. They were completely out, of course. So I got the chocolate ones, which are still super, super good. All right, what else? That's it for Whole Foods. I'm gonna itch in my eye. From Sephora, it's my birthday month. My birthday is July 20th, for those of you wondering. But I got the it's my birth the reason I'm saying it's my birthday month is because Sephora does a little birthday gift for those of you who don't know. So I wanted a little birthday gift and I needed to pick up stuff at Sephora anyway. But I needed a hair mask. This is one that I've used for a few years. I really like it. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair hair mask, which is awesome. And then I got this super goop eyeshadow which i've been dying to get and dying to try everywhere i go they've been out of it lately i wanted to try it on the back of my hand before i committed to buying it online and it's just a nice really really like dark chocolatey shimmer color it's like a brown shimmery color and this i just love right now i'm into like like a dewy smoky eye if that makes any sense lately and there's this like certain look I've been wanting to create. Oh, that's so pretty. It's definitely a good like going out look. And then I got the Too Faced mascara that I love. Better than Sucks mascara. I've been using that one for years. I just took a break from it and now I'm ready to come back. And then the birthday gift is this NARS. I don't usually use NARS because they're not clean beauty, but it's minis, so. Whatever, I'll just use a little bit of it here and there. And this is a lipstick. Wow, it's like a brown bronze lipstick. I have no idea what this will look like on me. Obviously, it'll look better if I have a full face of makeup on, but it's pretty. It came with an eyeshadow. Either this is like a, oh, the Laguna bronzer, but I usually use bronzers like eyeshadows. 
And this is like the perfect matte neutral color. Like if you don't want shimmer, this would honestly probably pair well with this shimmery one too. If I want to, you can't really tell, but it's right there. Super nice, super neutral. Maybe I'll wear this to work today. And that's it. All of my cold stuff is sweating and condensating like crazy. So I need to put it in the fridge. All ready for work. The weather doesn't look too good rolling in, but I'm gonna ignore that and hope for the best. <laughs> I had such a good time in Las Vegas and in Miami. Las Vegas feels like it was two weeks ago. This felt like such a long trip, but it was a nice trip. Even though there was like a super long day yesterday, I had really nice layovers, I had a really good crew, and that makes all the difference in the world. So it's just one leg from Miami back to Boston, and then I'm off for three days, thank goodness. I just have some editing to do and some friends to hang out with and some relaxation to be had. But my name is Vera, for those of you who are new here, go ahead and hit subscribe, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, at Balanced Flyer, and I will see you in my next vlog, bye.